Hi everyone, my name is Monica. Welcome to my channel today. I am 34 weeks pregnant, so I will be going through uh, my experience with my 33rd week of pregnancy. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Monica, like I said, and I make mommy and lifestyle videos. And if you are tuning in, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much, I appreciate you tuning in and as always all my pregnancy related videos are going to be um, linked on the uh, description box below and as always I have my notes here so don't mind me if you see me looking a lot on my phone I'm just you know just jotting down everything every symptom and all that so I don't miss anything um, all right, so let's get to this. So let's start off by, okay, so now or during the 33rd week, the baby weighs about 4.2 to 5.8 pounds. And um, the length is about 17 to 18 inches. Wow, that's from crown to heel. So that is the baby's weight and length. And now let's get to my symptoms during my 33rd um, week of pregnancy. So now that I turn 34 weeks, I have about five weeks and a few days left before we meet this baby girl. I'm so excited. Like I'm like nervous and excited at the same time. It's just like, you know, um, just thinking about it, like just like us being a family of four makes me excited and my first child, Maya, like she's just super excited. She's almost four, she's turning four in April and she's so aware now. She's always thinking of the baby and always saying like, you know, like when I grow up, the baby could use this, like basically all her like clothes and stuff and toys. It's so funny because I'm like, yeah, well, you know if it's still in good condition if you take care of it then yeah your sister can definitely use that um but yeah it's just it's just fun to watch anyway so um okay during my 33rd week of pregnancy okay so 33rd week and then um you know hopefully it doesn't stop but i have just been so 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 thirsty um, it's almost like I ran a marathon or like, well, you know what, I shouldn't say that because I've never ran a marathon. Um, but you know, I feel like I went for like a long run and then, you know, without any water in me and then came back home and just like, oh my God, I'm so thirsty. Like speaking of which, like I have like water here just beside me and it's really a good thing because I've never been a water drinker, a drinker. I've never been a water drinker like I should be, but it's just one of those things that I just drink whenever I'm thirsty kind of thing. And um, I've noticed that since I've been drinking a lot of water, um, I could really tell the difference. My toddler just woke up, so she'll be here joining me. Um, Anyway, um, which is really good because I've noticed that my lips aren't chapped, which usually it's pretty chapped because of yeah lack of water. But the downside to it is that I go to the washroom to pee a lot. Hello. Good morning. Mommy's just vlogging. Do you want to join mommy? Oh, you have cramps? You have cramps here. You can join mommy. Can join mommy all right so all right so she just woke up you can join mommy mommy was just gonna finish this okay okay um <laughs> all right and then um here let mommy okay and then yeah sometimes like i really get i have some nights where it's been really hard to sleep because i can't breathe like slash heartburn so it's like sometimes I just need to like stop and like take deep breaths like even during the day I feel that so but it's like it's just one of those things like I know it's nothing to worry about it's not like it doesn't happen every day but um, when it does it's just there's like you know parts of the day that it happens it's not like it lasts the whole day. Um, and I have been eating a lot, you guys, and unfortunately, 
been eating a lot of carbs like that's what I crave that's what I feel like um, satisfies me like thinking of a salad alone for a meal doesn't excite me or anything like that like I am just craving like pasta rice bread oh my god and it's like just thinking about it I'm like oh my god like I really have to change this once the baby's born well I could change it now but I'm just saying it's like you know I crave all these things and I'm like oh my god like why am I just craving carbs like anyway um so I'm eating a lot like I feel like I'm hungry every like two hours <laughs> So I don't know if you guys, if you guys are the same, could you guys let me know, make me feel better about myself. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Um, and what else? Lots of movements, which is good. Um, because now that I'm on my third trimester or us like um, pregnant mamas, um, at this stage, we should be feeling a lot of movement and sometimes to the point that it kind of hurts a bit just because there's it they're running out of room in there kind of thing um so sometimes it hurts and sometimes i would be doing something and i'd be like oh my god like what is that but in a way like it's good because for me it's like yes that's good it means you're you're doing well there you're doing what you're doing so that's great just keep punching and kicking um Puffy legs, not that they're swollen or anything, but I just noticed that the, at the end of the day, I feel like my legs are like puffy a little bit. Um, they don't ache or anything. I just feel like the puffiness, um, that's it. And tired, I am tired a lot. Um, I, I am tired a lot, like obviously not in the morning, but like I would notice like about in the afternoon um, and then especially at night time it's like I would look at the the time and I'm like oh my god it's already seven like I could go to bed right now but I don't I usually go to bed we go to bed between 9 30 to 10 30 at the most um, so yeah so acne like skin um, skin isn't bad, but I noticed that, um, lately this side of my face is, um, like it's getting zits. Like I have one here, I have one here, I have one here right now. And so I'm not really sure if that is, um, the hormones or just my eating habits lately. Or that because I'm always sleeping on my left side that maybe it's the pillow like I don't know I don't know what it is um, but anyway but it's not it's nothing crazy um, so that's just what I noticed hello baby <laughs> oh. um, and what else um, guys nothing fits anymore I even my joggers that I mentioned hello there even my joggers um, that I mentioned in like few pregnancy videos ago I said that oh my god like I live in this blah blah like I still do but like I can already feel like the tightness like around the waist and I'm like oh god not even the waist it's like the hip right like obviously like sitting um, it sits below my belly but yeah, everything is like so tight now. And yesterday we actually went to the mall because Terry had to buy a few things, um, like work clothes and stuff. And I was looking at some clothes and I'm like, oh, maybe I should buy like, you know, like an, a large size of sweater or like something just to make me feel better. But then like as I was looking, I was like, do I really want to spend this money? The fact that I only have like about five weeks to go um so it just kind of like you know i was just like nah i'll just leave it i'll just suck it up and just you know wear what i can wear at home um because it's like pretty useless for me to be buying clothes right now for this stage i feel oh bless you um 
and yeah I just feel huge I mean obviously I am like on my third trimester it's normal to feel that but I just I just feel really 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 pregnant and I know that sounds silly because obviously I'm pregnant but like more pregnant than ever and I'm sure I'll be saying this from here on out until the baby uh, until I deliver the baby just because obviously I'm only gonna get bigger um, but it's funny because when we go to a place like you know like when we go grocery shopping or the mall where there's like you know just like a normal parkade um, before like Terry parks the vehicle <laughs> Um, and there's car cars, um, you know, on both sides, left and right. I'm like, okay, just stop here before before you reverse completely. Um, let me out because I'm so afraid to like hit the car beside us because I feel like I really need that door to be open wide so I can like fit in it like without any problem. <laughs> I know that probably sounds like exaggerated but like you know there was there was one time where you know I was trying to open the door and, and some people they park like crazy like they park more to the left they park more to the right and then it's just tight but anyway um, that's that and um, lately I've just been like getting anxious for the big day yes as much as I am excited I'm just anxious what's gonna happen like would this baby stay in there until my c-section day and if not if say I get contractions earlier or if my water breaks before um, my c-section um, day I am concerned or just I can't stop thinking about Maya because I'm thinking like okay like if that happens, um, we're going to have to take her with us to the hospital, which I really don't want to. Like, I would rather um, have my mom here, um, which she doesn't come like a couple days before my C-section day. And I have yet to book that um, plane ticket for her. But it just makes me think, what if... Um, something happens before she arrives then we'll have to take her and because it's going to be um, whether it's a c-section or normal delivery like vaginal birth like I'm just thinking like where would she be in the hospital with us like obviously she's going to be with us but I don't really want her to like witness all these things like what what you know where do they put kids like if something like this happens like when parents bring their kids or toddlers in the hospital I mean <laughs> you know like I mean I want I mean worst case scenario I'll be in the operating room by myself with like the doctors and nurses and Terry is probably going obviously um, he's going to be with her, but I really prefer um, that, you know, like Terry would be, you know, with me, obviously. But worst case scenario, then um, he will be with Maya. Um, so that is about it, you guys. Um, if you are pregnant as well, let me know um, any, new, um, any new symptoms or any symptoms that you guys are having. And also, I will be filming my hospital bag also about that. Like, I've been anxious. Like, I need to film or I need to film. I need to start packing my hospital bag. Um, but there are just some things that I'm trying to hold off, like, in terms of buying, like, on Amazon or online. Just because they're just little things, like, sorry, excuse me. They're just little things, like, um nipple cream and just a few things little things like that but i think i'll just order them anyways hopefully their expiry date is pretty you know like hopefully like the things that i'll be buying like they won't expire soon or anything like that um i'm always like thinking about that like you know like all those like you know usually when you buy like all natural stuff sometimes they have they either have a long um, shelf life or sometimes it's the opposite 
Okay, baby, I'm just going to show them my belly. Okay. Okay. All right. So, here is the belly. So, before um, before I started vlogging this morning, I measured around my waist. And I am measuring 41. Excuse me, baby. I just need to show them. I need to be on this side. I am measuring 41 inches around my waist. So, it's the same as last week, but somehow I feel bigger. So, that's probably normal. I'm just going to move this pillow. So, the front and the side. Oh, let's go for the water, baby. Um, so, yeah. Also, I wanted to mention, I really noticed like last week, um, sometime last week, that the baby is definitely grown because I could feel that warm sensation and stretching on my belly. Um, if you are pregnant as well, you know what I'm talking about, like that kind of like, it's not like hot or anything, but it's just the warmth. Um, and that's very normal when, you know, when your belly stretches. Um, so I know when the baby is going through like a, a growth growth spurt because yeah I do feel that warmth on my belly and some weeks in the past I wouldn't feel that and that's when I know like the baby's just steady at the time like weight and lengthwise but yeah um that is it and I will see you guys on my next um video which will be my 34th week of pregnancy and yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel i make mommy and lifestyle videos and that's it thank you guys bye say bye 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 <laughs> all right okay let's go change Whew. i need some water